Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use data model in Power BI service. So I'm going to show you certain settings that you have to enable before using the data model in Power BI service. So let's see those settings quickly. As you can see on my screen, I'm in my project workspace. So if I go to any report, let's say Superstore Analysis Dashboard. So I have opened the report and here if I click on this edit icon. So as you all know, we can edit our report from here but we cannot edit the data model so we cannot change the relationships we cannot create new measures new tables or new columns so if i show you if i if i go to this order table and if i try to right click and click new measure see i don't have that option so we, we can't do that from here so that's why we have this open data model option so from this open data model it opens the data model and from there you can change the relationships create new calculated tables measures and columns but this is grayed out for me and if you have not used it earlier it will be grayed out for you as well so it is saying ask your workspace admin to turn on this setting users can edit the data model in power bs so let's go to the admin portal and change the settings so i will go back to the workspace and here uh, I'm going to click on this settings gear icon and I will go down and go to the admin portal and in the tenant settings here filter by keyword you can search for uh, edit data model so here I have got this option and it's saying data model settings uh, users can edit data model in Power BI service and it is enabled for me but still I'm not able to open the data model in Power BI so th this is one of the two settings that you have to enable so if it is not enabled for you you can enable this from here next if I come to this my project workspace in here you can see this workspace settings I will click here and uh, from here uh, let's go to this Power BI option and uh, here let's click on this general settings of the Power BI so here you can see this data model settings option which is saying allow workspace members to edit data model in service edits are permanent and automatically saved in the feature preview and version history isn't saved so if I enable it from here users can edit data model in Power BI service now we will get that option to edit the data model so there is one point to be noted Whatever you change in the data model in the Power BI service, it will be automatically saved and uh, you cannot undo the action. So before using the data model in Power BI service, you'll have to keep this in mind. So now let me show you if I'm able to use it or not. I'll go to this Superstore Analysis Dashboard again and here I will click on Edit. See this open data model is now enabled. So if I click on this open data model, so it will give you the modeling view and you can do certain changes maybe i will try to create a measure from here so i'll go to this orders let's say i'm going to create the profit measure so i will right click and click on new measure and here i will say profit measure which is sum of profit see this profit measure is created automatically and it is saved if you notice we don't have any save option here because the changes are automatically saved here so before using this in power bi service you'll have to be cautious about this so that was all about this video if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel till then goodbye and thanks for watching